In the vast and tumultuous realm of online communities, Destiny, the philosophical trailblazer navigating the digital landscape, turns his discerning gaze towards the scattered congregations of Hasnabi's disciples. To like, fight against is, so when I look at somebody like Hassan, Hassan's community doesn't really exist online in many places. I don't know where they are, or they're very scattered. They don't have like a collective place. But what that means is that like, if we look for instance at like the H3H3 subreddit or LSF, that's where the Hassan community kind of goes to post. So Hassan's community doesn't have like a strong gathering area online, except maybe Discord. I don't even know if those are the same people. They don't have a strong subreddit, I don't even know yet. But they inhabit these other types of online territories. But the awkward thing is that like, if I'm brought up in any of these places, Hassan fans basically are all set up there and they can fight me, talk me, post bullshit about me, whatever, and that's, you know, whatever. But if I want my community to go and fight there, I'm brigading, right? It's annoying because in order for me to say like, hey, we should post here or do something, it's brigading for me. It doesn't count as brigading for Hassan though because Hassan doesn't have any community presence online. So his community naturally just lives in all the other communities. It's very irritating. It, it kind of puts me like in an unwinnable like online propaganda position, except for when my fans happen to post in other places or whatever. But um, yeah, I noticed that. I will say that in the um, in this subreddit though, I think a couple people was it this one or the other one? A couple of people tried to post things like me, and it seems like there was a lot of pushback. But I never know if that's just because you guys have linked a thread or not. But you mean like how DG is the Reddit or the site, but Hassan fans show up damn near anywhere? Kind of. I mean, my fans will show up, but like we get accused of brigading way more because people can see where we're coming from. Whereas for Hassan fans, they just like, they naturally live in like all the other communities, you know? Actually, sub purge of far lefties. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. And now they all post. There's an anti fan sub called um, H3H3 underscore productions. I think is like the anti fan sub. And they all all they do is shun um, Ethan and Ela here. I've watched since the beginning. Oh, and me. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, I'm glad I'm so popular to you guys. Nine hundred or seven hundred and twenty nine comments. Since our destiny likes to brigade this sub. Let's make fun of their man, right? Yeah, see, like, that's annoying. We're brigading. But it's like, who are you guys? You're all Hassan fans. <laughs> but, like, you guys don't even have a home that you're coming from, so it doesn't count as brigading for you guys. You just naturally infest and infect every other community that Hassan tries to talk to. Like, it's so annoying. Yeah. But this comes up a lot in the uh, in the LSF sub where people will post that. They'll post that big web page that shows where other people are coming from. And the overlap with my subreddit is always the highest. And people are like, oh, look, that proves that Destiny brigades us more than anyone else. Like, well, no, that just proves that my community has another subreddit to go to. But clearly, LSF is like ran by like the Miz Kids, um, Juicers, kind of a little bit the DGGers. We haven't been there as much recently. And then like the, um, and then the Hasanabi heads, right? Although I don't know if they've been there as much recently either. But like it's huge factions that run LSF, but my community just happens to have another subreddit to go to. So we get blamed for brigading, even though everybody else technically, you yeah. know. But whatever. Okay, I don't care. I'll complain about it. <clears throat> Um, colluding on community notes may not work super well because CN approval only goes through when people who previously disagreed agree on the quality or not. Sure. I would never, I would never try to like collude or the community notes system. I think the community notes system works pretty well as is. I don't, I don't think I would ever want to try to like externally for that or like brigade it or anything like that. Um, LSF is kind of dying. There's just not a lot going on with Twitch these days. I mean, I think there is. The problem with LSF as a subreddit, though, is it just, I think, like, if they post Mortem the sub in a, in a year or two, um, I think the issue with LSF is it, it just became way too insulated. And streamers, how do I feel about this? I don't feel like streamers should have ever gotten a direct line to the mods. I think that was a mistake. I know the mods have tried to do their best in keeping it open to everybody, but... I just, I don't think that streamers should have ever been given a direct line to the mods because it basically turned LSF into like a PR subreddit for just a, a small group of streamers. Man. Yeah. 
Dust. Much like scattered leaves carried by the winds of the internet, Hassan's community finds itself strewn across various platforms, lacking a centralized abode to call their own. Destiny, the ever-vigilant observer, contemplates the significance of community cohesion and the disparate nature of Hassan's followers. The comparison, akin to measuring the proverbial apples and oranges, surfaces when destiny draws attention to the gathering places of other digital cults. The H3H3 subreddit and the notorious LSF emerge as thriving town squares, bustling with the fervor of devotees. Destiny, however, finds himself amidst a quagmire, where his disciples face accusations of brigading when venturing into these virtual agoras. The dichotomy perplexes destiny, like an enigma wrapped in a conundrum, as Hassan's community roams freely without the ominous cloud of brigading allegations. The nuances of visibility become the fulcrum of destiny's discontent. His followers, painted with a brush dipped in the hues of scrutiny, are accused more vehemently, akin to a scapegoat in a ritualistic affair. Destiny bemoans the fact that Hassan's disciples, like elusive shadows, evade the same accusations, dancing through various digital landscapes without the same heavy cloak of judgment. The digital philosopher king dons the mantle of responsibility, a cloak woven with threads of wisdom and an awareness of the historical tapestry from which he emerges. With the finesse of a seasoned diplomat, destiny contemplates the weighty responsibility that befalls content creators, the shepherds in the sprawling landscape of online communities. The digital realm, akin to the bustling marketplaces of antiquity, demands the discerning eye of its stewards. Destiny, like a custodian of the virtual agora, recognizes that the influence of content creators extends far beyond the pixels and binary codes. In the echoing chambers of history, the deeds of leaders have shaped civilizations, and destiny, cognizant of this legacy, reflects on the role of content creators as architects of the digital zeitgeist. The proverbial ink of destiny's virtual quill inscribes the importance of community management, a task akin to taming the unruly winds that once swept through the sails of ancient vessels. Destiny recognizes that, like the helmsmen of old, content creators must navigate the treacherous waters of online discourse, steering their communities away from the rocks of toxicity and discord. Destiny, with the sagacity of an ancient oracle, implores his fellow content creators to be vigilant custodians of their digital realms. He recognizes the symbiotic relationship between creator and community, an alliance forged in the crucible of shared values and shared spaces. The echoes of historical reckonings, where leaders bore the burdens of their subjects, resonate in destiny's call for accountability in the virtual agora. The digital pulpit, where destiny espouses his views, becomes a sacred space, a virtual agora where ideas dance like philosophical muses. Destiny acknowledges that the words he utters hold weight, a power reminiscent of ancient orators whose rhetoric could sway the hearts of nations. With this realization, Destiny calls upon content creators to wield their influence with a tempered hand, mindful of the impact their words may carve into the annals of digital history. As Destiny delves into the responsibilities of content creators, he invokes the wisdom of the ages, where leaders were not just architects of empires, but caretakers of the collective conscience. The digital agora, with its cacophony of voices, demands a delicate balance, a skill honed through the crucible of experience and an understanding of the historical reverberations that echo through the corridors of time. The digital saga takes a twist with the purge of a far-left subreddit, birthing an antifen subreddit, H3H3 Productions. Destiny, with a worry smile of irony, contemplates the emergence of these digital antitheses, a testament to the volatile ecosystem of online discourse. The annoyance in Destiny's voice echoes through the virtual corridors as Hassan's followers, like a contagion, infiltrate other realms without repercussions, 
leaving Destiny's followers branded with the scarlet letter of brigading. In the complex web of community notes, Destiny, with the gravitas of a digital statesman, extends his support for the current system's functionality. He swears, with the solemnity of an oath under the ancient oaks, never to collude or engage in brigading using this system. The virtue of ethical engagement becomes the guiding star in Destiny's navigations, a moral compass pointing true north amidst the digital tempest. The ebb and flow of discussions on LSF, like the tides of a restless sea, draw Destiny's critical gaze. The perceived decline and insulation of this digital agoraster Destiny's convictions. With the flair of a seasoned critic, Destiny asserts that LSF, now a sanctuary for select streamers, risks becoming a mere puppet theatre of public relations. The watchman's horn is sounded, warning against the entrenchment that could transform LSF into a curated echo chamber. As destiny unfurls the tapestry of online communities, the threads of accusation and visibility weave a complex narrative. Hassan's disciples, like nomads of the digital desert, traverse platforms freely, leaving Destiny's followers burdened by the weight of their visibility. In this digital odyssey, Destiny emerges not just as a streamer but as a philosopher, pondering the intricacies of virtual societies, the elusive nature of online spaces, and the delicate dance between visibility and accusation in the grand theatre of the internet.